Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing IBM. So I have a trade that I'm putting out tonight for this in the options letter. I There's already one on, uh, quite different, though, than the one I'm calling. I had called the 155 puts back here on this day. It went through the strike immediately and fell, fell, fell. The target was 150. So now I'm calling a new trade in this, a separate trade, a different trade, another trade in IBM that that is gonna work. I mean, the last one worked and it could still be in play, you could still be in it for the second move or you could have got out of it at 150 uh, and made $5 through the strike or you can do the one here that I am gonna call again. Either way, this whole chart is lower. And one of the nice things about doing options by using the Golden Gap rating system is that you can hold them longer. You can get much bigger moves. You have to be a little patient. Uh, for example, it took one, two, three, four. It took four days to this to get to the number, but it was a big trade, you know, $5 plus through the strike. So, you know, you have to be a little patient in these, but you can have some enormous trades and huge profitability in these. I mean, some of the trades I've called have been, you know, 400% return investment within, within a week or a couple of days. So sometimes I call these quite out quite far. Sometimes I call them within a few days. It depends really on the position of the gap uh, and also the stock itself, because I know how these stocks move depending on what I'm calling. In this case, it's IBM, but I'm talking about the other ones I call in the letter. Uh, and this did gap down today and had a nice sell off with the market. But either way, this was lower anyways. So the point I'm trying to make is that this has a really nice target in it. I'm getting this call out tonight for people to, to buy the put into the morning, into the day tomorrow morning on Thursday. And we'll see where it goes. Uh, you know, so th those two, two trades in play with this at once, which is, which is hilarious, but... Uh, I think a lot of people got out last week when I hit the first target, which was fine. Anyways, good luck, everybody. This is a nice, nice chart. IBM is definitely lower. Remember, market was making brand new all-time highs just as of yesterday, before the gap down and sell-off today. And IBM looks has looked like crap. So, you know, if the market does have a move lower for one day or two days, and it could be a week, I don't know. I mean, we'll see where the market ends up gapping tomorrow morning on Thursday, but... What I'm saying is that this is lower anyways, irregardless of the market. So any pulling with the market will help this to push it down even more to a much bigger move. And I always felt this would break 150. You know, 145 really is the next number. That seems far away now, but not really, because things that sell off will go quickly. So good luck to those people that decide to do this in the options letter. And if you'd like to sign up for that, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It's an annual subscription, and it costs twenty nine ninety nine for the year to do this, and uh, it's it's a it's a great deal. I mean, you could make more than that in one trade, and people are doing really good with these. I've just had some enormous calls in the last month, and uh, just because the market fell red today, doesn't mean I'm going to have any more or any less. You know, you you play the gap and you play the stock in the direction it is when it rates per the twenty six point system, and that's how I do it. And I'm extremely focused on the quality picks that I'm trying to give here to everyone to do because I want people to make money. And, uh, and that's the goal. So have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like more information also on the Golden Gap class, which is this weekend, May 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.